Good evening and welcome. I have with me Mr. Stuart Bounder, Global Strategy Head for Wavemaker. So how has CANS changed this year? It, the, are you liking its compact version? Uh, I think I am actually. Um, I think it's good that it's a little more downbeat this year. I think um, I think with the changes inside the industry, the changes inside um, WPP and that this is here, it feels less pressured perhaps. Um, and I think people are doing more real work. I certainly get the sense that people are having more business meetings. There's less emphasis on uh, social networking, uh, and, uh, and 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 I I, I I I do feel that people are getting perhaps more value from it this year than they have in previous years. So Wavemaker is a relatively new entity. Have you overcome the challenges of uh, merger? Um, I think I think we've overcome a lot of the challenges of you know two large businesses coming together. Um, there are inevitably more to overcome, um, as there always are. We you know, we are fully embarked on the journey. I think a lot of the heavy lifting is behind us. I, uh, I I think inevitably making questions about the right talent, the people we want to bring in, we want to bring into the, the business, the way we want to work, um, the areas we want to focus in. I, uh, I, I, I think a lot of that heavy lifting has been done. Um, obviously, m making it real everywhere and making it consistent for us, the way we make a way of working, our focus on purchase journey, uh, our, our, our interest in how audiences sit behind that. Those behaviour changes in market and making those making those product real for our clients is, is, is a multi-year mission for all of us, I think. So Wavemaker India is doing particularly very well in mm -hmm. last one year. What do you think is working for your Indian team? I think our Indian team, how, <laughs> sorry, um, uh, our Indian team have got a lot of the skills and, and um, uh, I think the attitude which, 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 which our other top 10 markets um, you know, need to show uh, uh, to succeed, there's a very strong entrepreneurial spirit. It's a very strong leadership team there who who, underst who, who understand uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, who who understand their markets, understand their clients, understand the, 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 the opportunities, and they're very quick to change. They're very quick to spot opportunities. They're very quick to, to get things done. And I think it's that speed and agility um, of building the business, taking opportunities, building new tech, seeing where client needs are, and responding to them very fast, um, which. Um, which is what makes them so successful. It's, it's one of the hardest things for a network business to, 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 to be able to do, uh, to, you know, to, to, to maintain its, its local freedom of maneuver for, it, for it, its management team and not become weighed down by global processes and global op op operations. And um, you know, uh, 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 Kartik and his, his team there are exemplars for us. I know that Tim mentioned it when you met, when you, when you met with him last time, but it's absolutely true that um, we, hear, we, we hear from him on a, a weekly basis about the work, the wins, the, 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 the people and the initiatives that he's driving through there. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm so amazed and proud at the speed at which that business is, is working and changing. How about your other markets? Which, which other markets are uh, doing as well as India? Uh, I, I, would say, um, I would say Italy actually would be the other market that, 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 that um, internally we would look at uh, um, in our in, 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 our, in our kind of large scale markets, um, and once again, there's, there's actually quite a lot of similarities I think between those two markets in terms of how they're led, how they're structured, and and the the, the entrepreneurial spirit that sits behind it. Maxis and Wavemaker, Wavemaker, sorry, Maxis and MEC were both primarily local businesses. Uh, um, most of our clients are local or multi-market clients; they aren't global, and that means that we're lucky that lots of our CEOs and our management boards are people who 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 have had to go and win clients themselves in their markets. Face to face and prove that they're you know worth that relationship but they haven't been given business globally just to manage so so, so 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 I think we've got more than our fair share of entrepreneurs more than our share of pe our fair share of people who are prepared to roll their sleeves up and go and work with clients to find ways to do things better and and uh, uh, that, that's certainly present in in Italy uh, um, our, 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 our operation initially is I think the, the largest media agency in Italy and, and that's been built um, you know, brick by brick by that team there in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the same way they're doing in India. So when the wave maker was uh, in the inception stage, there was a lot of discussion around purchase journey. Mm -hmm. So how has that thing helped you and uh, how do you look at strengthening it further? You're absolutely right. Purchase journey for us was, was a kind of founding principle and I think the big opportunity for us in creating a, a new business out of NBC and Maxis was the chance to step back and think about um, 
the ways um, the ways that we wanted to work and 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 and, uh, and the way we wanted to build up our tools and our processes so that we knew what product was and the product was that we were making for clients and purchase journey is uh, it, it, you know helps us in all of those areas it helps clarify our thinking internally uh, and it helps us understand it gives us a consistent lens on client problems um, uh, I think complexity for clients, the, the, the range of choices that they're asked to make with their marketing budget uh, can become debilitating. The, 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 it's almost impossible for them, to, for them to make a rational choice about where do I spend my next dollar to grow my business, which is what they've been given their budget for. It's a, very, it, 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 it's a business growing budget that they're given. And I think Purchase Journey helps, helps remind us all at, 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 a higher, at, at a higher level what it is we're there for. We, um, we, you know, our, our, our professional services value to the client is to, is to guide that investment choice to grow their business. It's as simple as that, um, and, 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 and it's allowed us to build a process internally um, that sits behind that. Um, uh, and and, and uh, to, um, to your point in terms of what happens next, it's very it helps guide our tech roadmap because when we're working with tech partners, our tech partners are building our own tech. We, it, it lets us be really straightforward. Um, how does this deepen our understanding about how consumers navigate the purchase journey in, in, um, in, 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 in this category? Does it help us know where to place those financial bets for, 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 um, for clients? Where are they overinvested? Where are they underinvested? How, do, um, how does the purchase journey work? Um, and uh, and, and uh, it means that when we're building out um, our tool systems, um, we can be really clear that we want to deepen our purchase journey understanding. So at the moment, there are 400,000 purchase journeys, that, uh, kind of individual purchase journeys that, 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 that we've surveyed um, um, globally. Um, that will that'll, that'll reach a million by the end of 2018. Um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, uh, when we have data at that scale to understand how consumers decide how important is primary stage bias, uh, 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 so, 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 so the kind of preference which you build up through, through broadcast advertising, how important is that versus being associated with the triggers that bring people into the category or being really strong at point of sale because these are all relative decisions about where you want to focus. So with a million journeys analysed by, 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 by the end of this year, we have a very strong analytical position to, 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 to sit behind the, 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 the investment recommendations that, that we're making to clients. So my last question is about uh, the statement that Mr. Keith Weitz made yesterday about uh, uh, distancing himself, his, his organization from influencers because he feels that uh, that's affecting the uh, trust factor in advertising. Yeah. So what do you have as an uh, agency, you know, somebody who's running the media business, if more marketers feel like this, what do you think is the way forward? I'm, I'm, we have a large and successful content business that there are maybe 750 people who work in Wavemaker content globally and part of that is, is influencer marketing. Um, uh, I think that, uh, uh, um, but I do share a lot of his concerns about it, but influencer, influencer marketing is, is quite a broad church um, and, and um, it's a little noise, isn't it? Um, a little louder. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, um, we can pop into it. Uh, I've never almost done that, I'll, I'll just do it a little louder. Um, uh, Influencer marketing is a very broad church, and I think that he's right to raise concerns about um, things which look as if they are properly influencer-generated content, and 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 things which are which, which which are advertising in lots of markets. That's strongly legislated on lots of platforms. That's 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 kind of, that's kind of clearly distinguished what what's what's sponsored content and what and 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 and, and what what isn't. Um, a lot of clients, in the same way, they're concerned about brand trust and uh, and, and um, so brand safety. What are you safety. doing about brand trust and safety? Any measures that WaveMaker has taken around uh, fixing the problems around brand safety and yeah. trust? Group M is 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 very heavily invested in brand safety and brand trust. Um, uh, we've got the only full time kind of. Brand, um, very senior brand um, um, brand safety guy called John Whittington, who's, who's here this week, um, talking on it. Um, so, uh, so, so we we are, uh, we are very heavily involved in uh, our own whitelisting, in working with um, leading whitelisting tech to, to, to bring it in. Every client will make their own choice about the range of risk that they're prepared to accept. Uh, it, um, e um, even in Direct IO-based buys digitally. You, you, you know, it's very hard to guarantee 100% brand safety. Um, and and if you're a highly performance-based client, it, it, client, if you're very focused on um, sales outcomes, you'll probably accept a larger de de um, degree of, of risk in order to reach a larger number of potential customers. But most brand clients will will have a pretty clear conversation 
um, with, 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 with us um, about the degree of whitelisting that they insist on, um, and we, 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 we actually can take that extremely seriously. Thank you for speaking to Exchange for Media. We wish you all the best. Thank you.